as much as possible relieve the pain even by just a bit. With this desire and that of seeking to give the departed a befitting send-off, business persons are investing in comfort at funerals. In Wasingishu County, one funeral service provider has invested in a top-of-the-range hearse, a limousine. Lois Wangoi gets into the hearse that has been the talk of the county. The front view of this car would easily pass for any other high-end SUV of its kind. But once the side profile comes into view, you see the difference. A Range Rover limousine custom made into a has. Why all this sophistication? I can say that uh, funeral service is just like wedding. So we are celebrating that this person has gone and this is the only last moment that we have with a family member. Moshiri tells us that this vehicle was customized at the manufacturer's plant. Its butterfly doors usher you to the spacious coffin station. It is easier to load a coffin in this vehicle. At the touch of a button, the coffin is adjusted into a proper position. We have the, the, the panels that rotate. So we bring the body and roll the, the casket on top of the rollers and then we lock and then we close the wings. The face of funerals and burial ceremonies in the country have been changing over the years with some shifting from the heavily traditional practices to a more exquisite approach in seeking to offer greater comfort to the bereaved and express honor to the departed. Like the place where family members are sitting or uh, where they are seated, we have the, the, the very comfortable seats, uh, air conditioner at the back. While Moshiri was caging on revealing the price for the limo has services, he sought to justify his reluctance to state a fixed figure. And uh, it has not been booked yet. We are trusting God that uh, it will be booked very soon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, we, we work with the Family budget. You are here, you come, you want the vehicle, we negotiate with the budget that you have. The availability of these Range Rover limousine has, has attracted a lot of conversation here in Wasin Gishu County. Among the reactions, I found one particularly interesting and the person was noting if one may not have had a chance to ride in a limo their whole lives, well, they might just have that opportunity and only once, albeit unknowingly, in their death, Lois Wangoi, NTV, in the county of Wasingisho. Well, I don't know about you, but, but to each his own, I wouldn't want to live it up after I die. I don't know about you, Dan Wangi. Well, I think it's quite, I don't know that it's in my range, just to say <laughs> that, to start that. Um, but nonetheless, I guess, um, to each his to own, each his own on, and her own. Let's be sensitive, Mark. <laughs> we'll have more on business after this.